One day in sixth grade, I know the two marks above my eyes. Later that day, I went to ask my mom if she knew anything about it or what was going on. She mentioned to me that my aunt had vitiligo. It was all over her hands. My mom let me know it could be a genetic condition and could spread all over my body. Where I'm from, all the sixth graders go to one middle school. So when it started spreading, I did not want to go to school because I was worried that my friends or classmates could stop picking on me, you know, make fun of me. I was so worried about it at first that my mom would cover those areas of my eye with makeup. That only lasted but three days before I started realizing that makeup would start disappearing after I get done playing basketball. As the years went by, the vitiligo started spreading around both of my eyes in the same exact pattern. Some people would stare, some people would give me strange look. There were other people who would call me adorable and say how, how cute it made me look. There were even a few people who told me they wish they had the same condition. The people that took the time to share the kind words or the thoughts really helped me with the adjustment process. I began to realize that this condition gave me a unique look. I stand out from the crowd and I don't mind it at all. This is how God made me and I'm thankful for that. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I think it gives me an edge on the court. It gives me a vicious look. I want to put fear in my opponent and I definitely think my vitiligo helped.